Behold the hand of Irulegi. This little bronze hand contains an inscription of the oldest words ever written in the Basque language. This finding predates the previous oldest Basque text by over a millennium. Basque is one of the oldest languages in Europe, but it has a surprisingly short written life until now. Hey everybody, I'm here not because I've been planning some great piece of content for you, but because there has been some huge breaking news from the north of Spain. The hand of Irulei, that's what it is. It's a hand shaped bronze piece that was found in a village in northern Spain and it has turned out to have a Basque phrase written on it. The earliest documented example of written Basque that has ever been discovered. It predates the previous example that of written Basque that we had by over a thousand years. In a story in El País, uh, researchers claimed that this bronze plate, which was unearthed about a year ago in the Valle de Aranguren in Navarre, and they found inscriptions of a Proto-Basque language, and it, it dates back to 2,100 years. Really cool. Here's the writing. The part that the analysts have been able to make sense of is the first word, Sorioneku. It's really close to the modern Basque word um, for lucky or good fortune. Sori means fortune, e on good, and the suffix ko means of, so of good fortune. Um, the rest of the written part is still a little bit of a mystery, although they do believe that they have found some recognizable words like ish and is in modern Basque or a form similar to the verb again, which is to do. Why is this important? Who cares? Well, <laughs> a lot of people care. And it's important because the Basque language has been really mysterious. Uh, it's a language isolate, which means it has no demonstrable genetic relation to any other language um, besides its predecessor, Aquitanian. It's a language that despite being so old, has always been a bit of a mystery because it was really slow to be written down. And the first book ever published in Basque wasn't published until 1545. Um, it was, by the way, a book of poems, Lingue Vasconum Primitia, First Fruits of the Basque Language, that beautiful, by Perna Echeparri. The earliest previous written proof before the discovery of the Hand of Irulegi dated back to in the 10 hundreds um, in the Emilian glosses found in San Millán in La Rioja, a text written by a monk. Now, all of a sudden, we've skipped back a millennia, which is pretty incredible. There was a moment in 2006 when they thought they had found something really, really old, um, but the archaeologist who found it, Elicio Gil, was convicted of fraud um, for falsifying these artifacts and actually spent over two years in jail. Um, it's pretty big controversy. So the finding of this hand, which looks to be the real thing, proves that the Basques were using their language in that territory since the first century, the first document that is undoubtedly written in the Basque language. So who were the Basques anyway? If you don't really know, the Vascones were a pre-Roman people. Um, they spread mostly along the area that's currently Navarre and Antiguipuzcoa, also La Rioja, Zaragoza, Huesca. That area doesn't exactly correspond to modern day Basque country, but the characteristics of the area are the same. You've got the Pyrenees, you've got um, the Ebro Basin in the south, and you've got it all kind of going towards the outlet up to the Cantabrian Sea through the Bidasoa River. Um, the earliest mention of the Vascones dates to 1st century AD in the form of a list of Basque cities based on a map commissioned by Caesar Augustus. But until now, no written texts texts have ever been found from the Vascones and definitely no written proof of their language, Proto-Basque, which shares a lot of linguistic similarities to modern Basque. Where was the hand of Irulegi found? The hand of Irulegi was found on the Irulegi archaeological site located between the Pyrenees and the Ebro Valley. Um, it was built for defensive purposes um, in the Bronze Age, 15th to 11th centuries BC, and disappeared in the first century BC. But it was unique in that it was preserved really, really intact because Pompeii came, invaded, set fire to it, and all of the dwellings collapsed. So they were sealed shut. This discovery, they're finding things that are really well preserved because it was kind of all trapped under a lot of 
dirt and soot and everything. At first they thought the artifact was part of a helmet. Uh, the it's made from a sheet of bronze, shit cut into the shape of a life-size right hand. They have spent about the last year analyzing the inscription and it actually belongs to a family of Paleo-Hispanic semi-syllabaries, such as Iberian or Celtiberian, but it does have some really interesting differences that I'm not going to go into in this video because they are very detailed and very dirty and that deserves its whole own video. And this rules out the theory that the Vasconas were people who didn't have a writing system, which was what was previously thought until this discovery. It shows that they knew writing and they knew how to make use of it. Well, it's really difficult to overstate how important this is and how exciting it is. Um, it proves that Basques were using their language in this area since the first century BC. Um, it really does form the basis of an inarguable <laughs> debate that Basques were writing and their language was written much, much before we thought it was. So that's really cool. Um, there's so much more to read about. So if you would like to check it out, there's a really good article in El País. I'll leave it down in the notes for you to check out. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video about the hand of Irulegi. It got me so excited that I figured I had to film something. Oh.